<laughs> Those of you who didn't have to be here this hour, thank you for coming. The rest of you had to be here. Thank you for showing up today. Um, we have a very special experience today. And so since we're having a guest speaker, like this is, uh, we're going to run this sort of like a business uh, meeting, a business conference, in which case, that's why I asked you to not have food, okay, because you don't sit during a business presentation and have food. You also don't have your phones out where you're checking your Facebook, okay, while someone is speaking. So that's why backpacks, food, and phone need to be in the back, okay, and drinks is, counts for food. Some of you asked me that, yes. So we appreciate you acting like adults during our presentation and giving respect to our speakers today. I don't know, are you going to speak today to us, Robin? Okay. <laughs> um, this is Mr. Kimball Anderson. He's a professional event planner, and I know he has other titles that I'll let him share with you. Because I'm not sure exactly what he does. He does a lot of cool different things all the time. He brought his wife, uh, Robin, with him to be with us uh, this time. And they came last year, and they gave a fabulous presentation. So I think you'll really enjoy what they have to say, or what he's going to say. And um, I'd like for you to think about, as he's speaking, some questions. Because I know at the end he'll let you ask some questions. And I want you to think about not only just uh, the Quinceañera project, but I want you to think about what he has to say and how it relates to every project you're doing and your future. So, Mr. Anderson, go ahead. Thank you, Ms. Barrettfield. Hey, guys. Well, I appreciate the opportunity to, to come back. I, uh, as Ms. Barrettfield said last year, uh, my wife and I visited a class just like this about this time. And I'll tell you what, you guys are real learners because it was a great session. I had a lot of conversation. We talked back and forth. Um, obviously, you, you know how to take in content and material. And uh, so I'm going to share some things today with you that some of it will be relevant, as, as she mentioned, to the project that the Spanish class is working on, the Quinceañera project. Some of it will be rel uh, relevant to other things you're doing, but all of it's relevant to what's going on today in business. And, you know, many of you are headed there yourselves, whether uh, college programs, uh, beyond college careers. Uh, there, there are many things that we can pick up today that, that hopefully will be relevant. So, um, as, as I mentioned, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Porzigo. He's a good friend of ours, and, and he's the one that first suggested, hey, you know, why don't you guys come and share some ideas? And that happened last year. And, um, and then we were invited back. And also, I, I know another person from your community. Um, her dad, do you, you, she's already graduated, Meredith uh, Mosley. Some of you may know her. Her dad is in this kind of business. And, I, and I've run across him. He's very good on social media and uh, events and planning. And so we became friends. And so I'm starting to feel like the new tech family here. So <laughs> I'm all on board. Um, so this class particular, this project you guys have, first of all, you're taking Spanish, those of you that are, and, and I'll tell you why that's so important. This world, you know, you used to think about a community as your neighborhood, or maybe it's your town, but really, your community is now the world. Because of technology, because of social media, everything is all one big family, and particularly in our world right here in Texas, the Spanish language uh, with our Mexican neighbors to the south really uh, is, is relevant. And so good for you that, that you're on that path and, and hopefully you'll continue it. Uh, and then the other thing that, that the project that you're working on, the Quinceanera project, uh, the, it's, it's actually a lot more than just this concept because it's about teaching you teamwork. And uh, I can't tell you how much that happens in my world. Everything I do is teamwork. There, there is a crew uh, in a production world that has a responsibility. And my, my feeling is that it's real simple. If you guys come together as a team, you will succeed. And, uh, and so that's why there's always value in numbers, strength in numbers. If ideas come from different perspectives and different interests and different skills. And so bring all those tools together, you're going you're gonna to make it work. So um, today, I'm going to share with you some of the things that, that I do in my event planning world, and it really has been driven by technology, by social media and technology. And I, I, I just think that uh, there's going to be things that I talk about today that, oh, that's cool, but I'm not going to be able to do that in, in the Keats and Year project or in, in my 
uh, math project where we're building things or, or, or whatever it is that you're doing. But there may be a few things you can take away. So anyway, we'll, we'll have fun. We'll talk about things that might be relevant. We'll talk about things that you'll, oh yeah, you'll, you'll think about in the future. And, uh, and that's the goal. Uh, and the reason that, that I talk about the future is you're not that far away from it. I mean, right now you are laying your career path. You're learning things you like. You're learning things you don't like. Um, you're thinking about school, maybe about college. And many of you, have you heard of interns? Uh, oftentimes, kids, when they get focused on a, in, in this industry, they will get an internship. That means they get to go work at a company that's in that field. And they get to experience and learn. And ultimately, of course, if they do well, they'll get hired and you know, they, they build a career. So I guess I'm going to try to ask you to think big picture with me today. It's not just about what's going on right here at New Tech, but it's where I'm headed and where I might be able to go beyond that. So hopefully uh, that's going to ring true. Social media, let's talk about that. There's a guy named Eric Qualman. You'll find him uh, on the internet. He's a digital marketing expert. He's kind of a guru. And he has this term called socialnomics, meaning social media and business are going hand, hand in hand. And everything in business is being driven by that instant communication and technology. It, you know, it's not whether you have a choice, it's how well will you do it. So some of the things that, that are interesting from his social nomics notes are, you know, how many people participate in, in these online communities. If you ranked Facebook as, you know, where does it fit in number of members in relation to world population, it is the second largest entity in the world. Only China is bigger. So that, that's just a, an amazing statistic that, that just uh, is hard to grasp, but, but everybody is now online. And most, look at this, population over 50% under 30. That's you guys. You know, you guys who are better at this than I am and definitely better than your grandparents. And yeah, it, it, it's just amazing what power and uh, abilities you're going to have with the technology that's now available. I don't know, this one's hard to believe, but more people own a mobile device than a toothbrush. I don't know, I'd have to research that <laughs> stat, but it did come out of his book. That's kind of weird, but uh, that tells you. And, and we all know where the technology's going. It's going to mobile apps. Mobile and social aren't just emerging, they are merging. You know, as you well know, a phone does almost everything, and now, what is it, Apple has the watch, it's well, almost Apple, like, Apple, yeah. Apple, yeah. So, I mean, holy cow, everything computing power right down to your wrist. Uh, you, way before your time, there was a comic strip uh, called Dick Tracy, and uh, it was Brassfield Sugar. <laughs> uh, but he, in, in that comic strip, he had a watch that was, you know, communi communication tool and video and all that. And we, as kids, looked at that and said, <laughs> Right, you know, that'd be cool, but that'll never happen. Oops, it's happened in my <laughs> lifetime. So things are changing. You've heard the expression, What's day, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, I know you've all heard this before, and I'll repeat it. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, <laughs> YouTube. Very, you know, you hear it from your parents, you hear it from your teachers. But let me tell you, from business, that is so true. Uh, what, what you're doing, how you communicate, is, is somewhere out there in a digital footprint. And you think you maybe erased it or you think it's not around, but your comments, your, your choices that, that you talk about through social media are part of now your resume. I mean, do you realize uh, you're actually building uh, your, your background that we're all going to look at? There's a, uh, are you familiar, familiar with LinkedIn? Do you, do you know that? I see. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right now, that's a tool, uh, a social media tool that you probably haven't seen much of yet, but you will. When you get to be college, you better be on it. When you get to be a, a professional, you have to be on it. It is a resume, uh, active resume online that talks about who you are. And, and what I'm telling you is more and more now, kids even younger than you are actually allowed on LinkedIn. 
and they are beginning to build their focus and their interest because maybe a college will look at that or maybe an internship opportunity. I know I do that whenever I think about someone that I'm going to work with or hire or even a client. I will research them on LinkedIn because I can learn so much about them. I can learn what their focus is, their interests. So that's why this digital reputation is, is instrumental. Right now, whatever you're doing, your texts, your communication, all of that is becoming part of your history. So be advised that it will matter <laughs> everywhere you go. This is crazy. You guys are doing much better than the average person who has an attention span of eight seconds, no, no, seven seconds, which is a little less than a goldfish. Holy cow. Most people focus on something and then they move on. Have you noticed that? It used to be that like a, a TV commercial would be a 30 second or a minute commercial. Now people are being reached with things like six second vine clips. And that's where it's going. Sound bite, uh, meaning a, a quick blurb. Boom, give it to me, tell me, okay, good, I got it, move on. That's the way people are doing it now. They didn't used to do it. They picked up a newspaper or a magazine or they watched commercials and got their information that way. No, not anymore. And so in my world, in event world, we share things instantly. People go on these trips and they, or we plan a big event. They're already, you know, Facebooking it or, or creating an Instagram video and out it goes. So uh, that is, is something maybe to think about on projects you're working on. Uh, again, most of it's internal, but when you get to external things, maybe you're fundraising. Maybe you're doing a fundraiser for the school. You do want people outside of your immediate little world to know about that. And so the communication that you build, that you send, uh, can be reached instantly. Because imagine if you send a clip and you've got 300 followers, and two or three or four of those people pick it up and they send it out and they've got a whole hundreds of followers, all of a sudden your fundraiser where you're 